Hey everyone, it's Silix, back again with a new tutorial. This time, I'm going to be showing you guys a fun way how you can make your own glitchy sound effects. So let's get started. Uh, I've just got an audio track here with a bunch of different sounds on here. Now some of these are my own field recordings, and some other ones were just taken from uh, some random sample libraries. I've gone ahead and thrown a compressor on here so as to tame some of the peaks and to uh, increase some of the quieter parts. And then of course I've thrown on a limiter as well uh, so that we're not clipping. So uh, let's go ahead and have a listen to what I've got. Um, yeah. All right, so um, next thing we want to do is we want to go to the stereo output and we want to be sending this to bus one. Uh, so now let's create a new audio file. Uh, we'll name this guy record. We'll throw a limiter on there as well too. And um, we want the input from this one coming from bus one. Uh, so now let's go back to the first track and uh, let's open up the flanger that I have on here. Uh, so what's gonna be happening next is I'm gonna be hitting record in just a few moments here and I've already gone ahead and mapped the speed and the intensity uh, to my MIDI controller. Um, but if you don't have one, that's fine. You can just use your mouse and Basically, I'm just going to be seeing what kind of crazy sounds I can get out of this. Uh, so let's uh, see what happens. All right, uh, not bad. Um, so let's just get this guy out of the way here. Uh, we'll just create one more audio file and uh, we'll drag this recording down here. Um, and we'll just mute that. So now uh, going back up to the first track, let's just mute the flanger and we'll open up a phaser now. Um, this one I don't think I've mapped, so I'll just be using my mouse. And uh, just like before, let's see what kind of crazy sounds we can get. Um, out of this one. Alright, and I'll also just throw this on its own track. Um, so now it's pretty much just a, um, a matter of going back to these audio files here and uh, you just want to be doing some critical listening and uh, just chopping out the parts that you think sound the coolest. Uh, so when that's all said and done, uh, you can then export these and you can save them to a folder called, I don't know, My Glitch Sound Effects. Uh, so you should end up with some pretty cool sounds. Um, I'm just going to go ahead now and uh, play something that I made earlier. This is just a glitchy sort of synth line that I made. And then of course you can see all the glitch sort of audio snippets uh, that I made from earlier. Uh, so let's just see how that sounds. Cool. Uh, so that's 
pretty much all there is to it, guys. Um, please leave me your questions and comments and feedback. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.